We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, explore the new 2022 Sea Dew full watercraft li lineup. We're going to focus today on these brand new pontoons and the fishing boat. We're just going to give you a quick glimpse of some of the other models. So uh, if you're not interested in the fishing and the pontoon, you may want to skip this one. But overall, we're going to walk through all the uh, watercraft for 2022 and let's get started. That's right, we've got the Spark at $5,699. That gets you on to a watercraft. You got to love that. Spark Tracks at $7,008. GTI just under $10,000 and the GTI SE at $11,000. So you can see these are two nice units from a touring standpoint. If you want to take the family out, GTX at 14 or 13,000. GTX Limited at that 18,299. That's with the big engine. And then performance. Here we are. GTR just under 13,000. The RXT X 17,005. And the RXP over 16,000. And then the towers. That's right. The Wake at 12.5 and the Wake Pro. Uh, is another great model but we're going to talk about today the fish pro scout the fish pro sport and the fish pro trophy that's right folks they've got three fishing boats and if you love how to have fun outdoors you know that we love to fish also we're going to talk about the switch that's right the brand new pontoon boat starting out at 18k and the switch sport that's right at 24k these things are pretty awesome. And then the Switch Cruise, which is the big boy. That's right, 27K. This will fit up to nine passengers, 21 feet long, and up to 230 horsepower. Comes in all kinds of different colors. But let's get started with this Fish Pro. What a beautiful, I mean, beautiful sea dew this is. The Fish Pro, we were really impressed with. Get a look at this. You got the nice bass seat up top here that actually swivels and uh overall the cooler was just super nice i couldn't believe how nice everything was on this particular unit they've got everything a cup holder here the whole nine yards and this one lists out right here for twenty one thousand. what sold out for 2022 that's right trying to get an update on 2023s right now but struggling with that even when i called the dealers they couldn't give me much information take a look at the way this garmin is built in you guys know if you follow our videos we love garmin's and uh, it's all pre-built, ready to go for you when you buy this unit. The fit and finish was really spectacular. Uh, overall, I can't wait until we can buy one of these things. Uh, they were sold out as fast as they put them up for sale. And quite honestly, there's uh, you can see why. I mean, they're just super impressive and uh, everything about them, especially if you're going on smaller lakes and uh you know you want to move around but look at here the fish pros trophy goes at 18,000 base um, and it is really really nice uh it's all designed fish focused it's got all the equipment that you would need to fish out there on your favorite lake and it's comfortable that was the thing that was most impressive about it and it has the big 170 horsepower engine on it and if that's too much money for you, no problem. You can get under 16,000 with the Fish Pro Sport. It doesn't have all of the features and benefits of the trophy, but it's still a pretty nice unit overall. And again, with the uh, 170 horsepower engine on that, that Rotax 1630 Ace. If that's too much money for you, we'll get you under 14,000. That's right. And the Fish Pro Scout is your beginner model. And quite honestly, it's pretty nice. I mean, we're just missing some of the other features and benefits. But overall, if you love fishing, definitely check out How to Have Fun Outdoors. Take a look at that big paddlefish. We got bass fishing, tilapia. We've got sea trout. We got all kinds of stuff. And if you don't like the fish, but you like to go to big stores like Pro Bass Shop, Bass Pro Shop, they, we went to the largest one in the country. How about that? Snorkeling, we've got it all on How to Have Fun Outdoors. If you want to sit on the beach, we can do that too with our channel. But take a look at this one. This one was a super sweet unit. That's right, this is the RXP, and uh, take a look at the price on this. This is the GTI, and this one's coming in at 14,600, and uh, really nice unit there. That's with the trailer, 
And uh, these sea for 2022 are super sharp. Like I said, this is a quick video just to give you an overview of what's going on with these guys. It's summertime 2022. There's the GTI. Take a look at that unit. Really sharp. Got this built-in speakers, the whole nine yards. And uh, these are some really, really nice units. Storage on the back of that one. As you can see here, a little bit of everything. This one priced out just under $10,000. And you can get into some of these newer units like the Spark for uh, a decent amount of money. So overall, great units, great uh, fit and function. We've owned a couple of sea for several years, had great success with them. The engines run perfectly and we absolutely love it. Now, how about this 2022 sea -Doo switch lineup? And as you can see here, you've got the Switch Cruise and then the Switch Sport. And these are some beautiful units with uh, a lot of different configurations. You can customize it. I'm sure you've seen some of the videos on this, but we were impressed overall uh, the way this thing uh, is designed, the way they put all the features and benefits into it. The fit and finish was actually better than what I expected from what I've seen um, on the videos. Uh, the quality of the product is really, really good. And no question, this is going to be a big hit, especially on smaller lakes and with younger people. It drives just like a jet ski, real straightforward. You got your Garmin again on here. And uh, again, you can change up the layout, a lot of different configurations. And overall, we were impressed. It's a really nice unit. Let's get started in reviewing these. The Switch Cruise is at $27,000. And this gets a little confusing, to be honest with you. They have three different models, but they all come in different lengths and different price points. And uh, the good news is the trailers are included. You get to pick your link, you select your engine, and pick your color. But as far as the cruise goes, that's right. You had the seven passenger, 100 horsepower, 18 foot. I think that's underpowered. Seven passenger, 170 horsepower, 18 foot. That was a nice unit. Next one up, Switch Sport. That's right, $24,000. And this was really for, you know, if you want to get out there and pull some skiers and tubers and have some fun, this definitely was a great unit. Again, trailer included. Same story, you get to pick the different length on it, 18 to 21 feet. But as you can see, when you get out there at that 18 footer, that's at 39,000. And the 13 footer, in our view, was really small. That's basically for two people. Then you have the uh, switch unit at $18,000 and a lot less features on this, as you can imagine. And quite honestly, the smaller unit here, uh, we would I really didn't understand the concept of that. It's only 16 uh, feet or 13 feet at 22,000. And then you've got the 19 footer that was definitely nicer at 37,000, but I would tend to go for one of the other models. But overall, that gives you a breakdown of it. And uh, we were impressed with the fit and finish. Like I said, uh, great quality, and they're gonna be popular with young fans. Aliche really liked them for sure. She was having too much fun out there. And, uh, but overall, as you can see, uh, real nice fit and finish. And uh, there's no question about it. These things are gonna be popular once they ramp up production on it. Once again, they're sold out everywhere. Uh, but I think in 2023, after they get all the bugs worked out uh, in the supply chain crisis uh, of 2022, hopefully we'll settle down and uh, you're going to get to see a lot more of these as uh, we go forward. So overall, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this drill down on these different units. As you can see here, um, we did check out all three of the different pontoons. And one of the things that we did notice was the amount of storage and the way the plates worked on the bottom was pretty sharp overall. And um, we gotta give them a lot of credit. They put a lot of design time into these units. So if you buy one, I think you're gonna be pretty happy the reviews have been really good on these units and uh, a lot of people have highlighted that the larger units uh, do provide more of the pontoon feel, if you will. Uh, but in general, we love them and Aliche loved them. And definitely the other thing that a lot of people don't realize about sea is all the accessories that they offer, not only for the jet skis, uh, but also for the pontoons and all of the fun stuff that you have out on the water, clothing, you name it, 
Uh, but more importantly, how about you know the tubing accessories and the skiing accessories? They've got a lot of that stuff, so check that out. If you're not familiar with our channel, we do all kinds of great videos. How about the King of Surf? A $200,000 uh, ski boat, $342,000 23-footer. Got to check that out. 32-foot pontoon, 700 horsepower. We just did one with a 600 horsepower. And if that doesn't float your boat, how about a $700,000 Patagonia or a $2.5 million Prevo? How about that? So definitely check out our channel. We really hope that you love the quick video. Uh, definitely give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. How to have fun outdoors.